What rights do you have once you're arrested and charged with a crime? You have a right to be brought before a tribunal, a judge to be arraigned. Arraignment is where they read the charges to you and they read you your rights. Most of us know those rights as Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free of charge. And you have a right to put on your own defense as you so choose. At the arraignment, your also bail is set and there might be conditions put on you for bail. In sex crimes cases, most times they put a condition having a psychosexual evaluation. So you have to go before a psychiatrist and basically tell what's wrong with you or what's going on in your life. That becomes a real issue when we talk about our Fifth Amendment rights to, again, self-incrimination. As a defense attorney in these cases, I usually get the psychosexual evaluation done prior to that and let the court know it's done. And I don't provide a copy of it to the court or to the DA because there's no reason we're gonna give uh, admissions or statements prior to a trial. You have a right to continue to live your life on bail. You have a right to be free of harassment and ridicule as you're accused of a crime. And finally, you have an absolute right to a trial by a jury of your peers. And in many cases, it's important to exercise that right. It's important to know you have that right. At the end of the day, the government can't put you in jail. They can't sentence you until a jury of your peers finds you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt.